Hey everybody, how's it going? It's yours truly. We're going to be doing a brand new series, a brand new playlist. It's the Tools for Fools playlist. And, um, you know, on top of gun stuff, on top of tech, uh, on top of political analysis, I'm going to be doing just some generic or general tool stuff, DIY, home improvement stuff. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right into uh, this specific tote slash tool bag uh, hybrid. Uh, this is fantastic. This is awesome. This is almost 30 inches long. It's really, really heavy. Uh, you know, I, I don't have very much or anything negative to say about this at all, except that it is heavy and it can be quite challenging to uh, kind of maneuver yourself through like a hallway. Let's say you're in a, in a home like mine. I have a pretty large home and I have really long hallways and it could be kind of, uh, you know, a task, let's just say, to kind of get this through. However, Tough Built does offer a, a much smaller solutions, which I'm probably gonna end up getting a, you know, a, a much smaller tote bag similar to this and um, you know put some armory uh, gun armory gunsmithing tools in there so when my friends call me and they need me or a client needs me and i can just you know put everything in the bag and then just go um this is generally going to stay like this i'm not really going to change too much about this um except maybe add a tool here or there um but i've been going back and forth to like my grandparents house i've been also <clears throat> my home is kind of big and uh, just lugging around like a like a bag of tools or whatever is just kind of annoying and I really really did the research and try to find the most viable solution the solution that made the most sense something with easy access and um, this is what I came up with this is or this is what the results uh, were, were kind of pushing me towards and this is what my heart just said I need to have this I just I absolutely needed to have this and it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience uh, first off I, I really really do enjoy the stitching on here they did an excellent job uh, the company Tough Build uh, boasts that they go through a very strenuous process a very tedious process to ensure that only high quality products hit the store shelves uh, I ended up getting this uh, from Home Depot I'm going to be leaving links in the description. The company is, of course, Tough Built. And let's go ahead and lift this up just so you can see what it looks like, um, you know, to, to be used properly. And um, with, with it fully packed. Yeah. Yeah, so no sagging, no nothing. I'm being kind of uh, rough with it. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, it's kind of difficult with my weak hand. Um, but yeah, I mean, this no sagging, no nonsense. Uh, the bottom of the the tote bag, you have these uh, these little uh, these little feet here, and they're they're texturized or they're kind of pointy. The, the material is kind of rubbery, so whatever surface that you end up putting this on, you're not going to damage it. You're not going to mar it up or anything like that. Let's just go ahead and uh, you know what? Also, a really cool feature, we have these straps here at the side. Let's go ahead and uh, loosen them up a bit. Very very cool. Very cool feature. Uh, I can't believe they included this. Um, another thing that's just spectacular about this specific bag is that they they really don't okay they they do not waste any real estate whatsoever. There's a lot of real estate on this bag, and they do not waste an inch of space. So now you have your uh, your your level. Your, your, your heavy duty level, it's right there on the side. Just everything is together. I love it. Let's go ahead and remove these straps. By the way, this is very comfortable. They did an excellent job with this, uh, with this little uh, Velcro handle. So lugging this thing around, it's excellent. No issues at all. So you got quite a bit of storage here. Let me just go ahead and start taking stuff out so you can get a better idea as to what's going on in this bag. So essentially you have these things here these little plastic slots um, and these guys they slide in them so you can configure this in so many ways however you'd like I believe you're able to purchase uh, these these little slide in pouches uh, from Home Depot and Amazon and there's just again no space is wasted uh, they, they put straps here little pouches uh, I got my my uh, my wire strippers here. I got two of them just in case, and they're both different. Uh, of course, as you can tell, I really like bright colors. I love red. I love the color scheme. Um, the bright colors. Uh, somebody like me who's hard at seeing. I'm photo light sensitive. I'm partially colorblind. I'm just very hard at seeing. So bright colors are very very helpful to me. And the the color scheme looks great. Granted, yellow is not my favorite color, 
but but this looks fantastic and of course there's just plenty of space for for just about everything you need another really neat feature on some of these pouches is uh, they, they have these little stands see check that out let's go ahead and take a look at that yeah look at that this thing is so goddamn big I have to uh, <laughs> I have to use my um, I have to film this in my living room, guys, because this thing is so massive. Um, so, yeah, I'm just giving you an idea as to what you can do with these. And, again, another really great patch. Another great thing about this is that you can pick these up, hand it off to someone, and, and they'll do what they need to do with the tools that you gave them. This is just so damn useful. Um, and, and they're in there pretty good. I, I, was, uh, I had this in my truck. I had this in my... My sedan, sorry, I almost burped, um, in my sedan, and I'm just driving around, and this didn't tip over. I didn't have any issues at all with it, and I am kind of a speed demon. Don't tell the police. Uh, let's see what else we got going on on the other side. Oh, also, not necessarily a con or a negative, but we do have these little, um, what's it called, these rings here to attach a strap so you can carry this like a traditional, um, you know, like a, like a duffel bag or like a gym bag or whatever. It didn't come with it. Uh, I'm not going to uh, you have that as a mark against uh, the bag, but it would have been cool considering the money that you paid for this, uh, or the money that you'll likely pay for this if you end up wanting something like this. Uh, I ended up paying uh, 68 70 bucks 70-ish around there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm able to carry everything. I got all my traditional driver bits. I got wire strippers. I got my, st my stud buddies. Um, I have a, you know, what's it called? One of these, uh, you know, multi-use uh screwdriver uh interchangeable bit uh thingies uh, i don't know why i'm spacing out on that i shouldn't know what these are i got pencils i got sharpies i got a a, a level i got my, my industrial level and we also got these really cool pouches before i flip it over let's just go ahead and uh you know, let me make sure that this is in focus yeah uh so again i have more stuff here oh whoops. you get these two uh th these packing cubes so I have a, a stud sensor. I have some cables here that I don't maybe don't want getting mixed up. I have some other accessories for this headlamp here. Um, yeah, I mean this is I mean again there's quite a bit of space in there. I can still put a little bit more things. I'm probably gonna get extra USB uh, Type C cables, uh, maybe uh, other type of uh, USB cables. You know, just in case. It's always good to have stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna put a, a, a battery bank in here just to charge some of my my tools, some of my accessories when I'm out in the field. And uh, let's see, yeah, so uh, the packing cubes, uh, again, uh, similar, excellent stitching, just fantastic job. Uh, and here I just have all my driver bits. I just have all my driver bits, uh, drill bits, um, nothing too crazy. I have some stuff in these pouches for, for my impact guns. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is fantastic, man. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this thing. This is so damn useful. Uh, I, I love buying a tool and using it all the time. Uh, so for people who are the, the DIYers, uh, co uh, contractors, you know, electricians, uh, handymen, this is perfect for you. Perfect for you, especially if you're like, even DIYers, I absolutely recommend something like this because you have all your tools in one spot. They'll always have a place in this, this mammoth mouth, tough built tote bag and you're just not gonna get lost. As long as everything is in here, you keep it organized and it's just, you feel great about it, man. It's just, and it's so easy to transport. Um, some of the negativity or the cons, I guess, about this is just, it's really, really heavy. So if you're like a small frame person, maybe you're kind of weak, you know, I'm not trying to talk shit, uh, it's gonna be challenging for you. And if you're gonna be maneuvering through through small spaces, you gotta be prepared for, 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 for the difficulties and the challenges that come with maneuvering through the hallways and stuff because it can be a little difficult. I think it might be easier with a strap. Again, you can buy those and uh, yeah, I mean, you're not going to go anywhere. Let's check the other side really quick and see what else uh, we got here. Uh, you know what? I don't want to knock down my tripod, so I'm going to remove the long industrial heavy duty level. Let's go ahead and uh... all right, let's see what we got here. So again, no space is wasted. Let me see, make sure this is in frame. Yeah, so right now I have electrical tape. I got painter's tape right here. The, what you do is basically, you get your electrical tape, you get your duct tape, you get your, your, ma your masking tape, painter's tape, whatever. 
slide it through, slide it through this. Why am I struggling with this? Gosh. And then Shazam, you got your tape right here. And of course, if you have a uh, measuring tape, it's from Milwaukee, magnetic. You're done with it. It's got a place too, right there at the side. And you got more, more straps here for, uh, you know, more whatever you want to put there. Honestly, right here. Let me see if I can give you guys an exposed view. So right here. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got? So we got more pouches here. They're secure. I just have some gloves. I have my, my tin sniffs. And last but not least, let's do this side right here. So we have these gorgeous pouches. Um, I don't have them filled up. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I mean, you got plenty of space for whatever you need. Again, you, uh, like right over here on the side, we have a, a pouch for, for my, my little notepads. And of course, I got a pencil. I got a sharpener in here. I got a carpenter's pencil as well. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to, to get down to business. Um, I've been doing a lot of electrical work in this house, and I've also been doing a lot of um, handyman stuff for my grandmother because I just bought a new home. And, uh, you know, but, but it's not the things that I'm doing, it's nothing that I can't handle. It's nothing that tools in this bag can't handle. And, um, I mean, that's really about it. I mean, I honestly probably could um, put some, some small battery-powered um, power tools in here, like an impact and maybe like a drill, and that'd be good enough. This is good enough, honestly. Let me see, what else do I got in here? I got more levels. You can never do enough without these. I got a voltage tester. I mean, I used to, uh, I used to install solar, did a little bit of electrical work back in the day, and, um, and uh, I never really had a, a, a nice place for my stuff. I kind of just had it in a backpack and I would just kind of sit through it like a dumbass. Uh, but this makes it so much easier. All this makes it so much easier. This is high quality product. It looks great. I've been using it a lot for the past few weeks. Uh, I love it, guys. I love it. Um, I highly recommend it. I'm going to be leaving links in the description. And uh, full disclaimer, I was not paid by Tough Built, not paid by Home Depot or anybody else. Uh, I, I bought this because I intended to use it as it was advertised. And it's been phenomenal. I absolutely love this. Uh, Tough Built is a, is a cool company. It's a great company. I just recently, you know, this is the bag that makes the most sense for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and useful and you learned something. If you have any questions, um, please leave a, a comment in the description. And uh, that's going to be about it, guys. Peace.